For the sake of your name, O oh Lord, give me life. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. 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 Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Have mercy on us, O Lord. O Lord. Amen. Amen. Show us, O Lord, your mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. God, our Creator, we give thanks to you, who alone have the power to impart the breath of life. As you form each of us in our mother's womb, grant, we pray, that we, whom you have made stewards of creation, may remain faithful to this sacred trust and constant and safeguard in the dignity of every human life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Christ is mediator of a new covenant, since a death has taken place for deliverance from transgressions under the first covenant, those who were called may receive the promised eternal inheritance. For Christ did not enter into a sanctuary made by hands, a copy of the true one, but heaven itself, that he might now appear before God on our behalf. Not that he might offer himself repeatedly as the high priest enters each year into the sanctuary with blood that is not his own. If that were so, he would have to he would have had to suffer repeatedly from the foundation of the world. But now once for all he has appeared at the end of the ages to take away sin by his sacrifice. Just as it is appointed that human beings die once, and after this the judgment, so also Christ offered once to take away the sins of the many, will appear a second time, not to take away sin, but to bring salvation to those who eagerly await him. The word of the Lord. Thank you. Amen. Amen. Our response song. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done marvelous deeds. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done marvelous deeds. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done wondrous deeds. His right hand has won victory for him, his holy arm. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done marvelous deeds. The Lord has made his salvation known. In the sight of the nations, he has revealed his justice. He has remembered his kindness and his faithfulness toward the house of Israel. Sing to the Lord in for he has done all his deeds. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation by our God. Sing joyfully to the Lord, all you lands. Break into song, sing praise. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done all his deeds. Sing praise to the Lord with the harp. With the harp and melodious song, with trumpets and the sound of the horn, sing joyfully before the King, the Lord. Sing to the Lord a new song, and a song of all your seeds. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Our Savior, Jesus Christ, has destroyed death and brought life to light through the gospel. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, Lord. Lord. The scribes who had come from Jerusalem said of Jesus, He is possessed by Beelzebub, and by the prince of demons he drives out demons. Summoning them, he began to speak to them in parables. How can Satan drive out Satan? If a kingdom is divided against itself, that kingdom cannot stand. And if a house is divided against itself, that house will not be able to stand. And if Satan has risen up against himself 
and is divided, he cannot stand. That is the end of him. But no one can enter a strong man's house to plunder his property, unless he first ties up the strong man. Then he can plunder his house. Amen, I say to you, all sins and all blasphemies that people utter will be forgiven them. But whoever blasphemes against the Holy Spirit will never have forgiveness, but is guilty of an everlasting sin. For they had said, He has an unclean spirit. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. Good morning. Good morning, Father. I think it's appropriate that today we hear a gospel that speaks of Beelzebub, Satan, the devil, Lucifer, whatever term you want to use. It's appropriate to hear of the demon, especially today when we remember the decision of Roe versus Wade. Uh, because we speak of Satan as the father of lies, deception, confusion. And how his influence can get people to believe white is black and black is white. We believe that if you murder a child in your womb, that is health care. We believe that a man can become pregnant. Uh, we believe that a same-sex union is equivalent to a marriage as defined by the church. We have so much confusion out there. Heck, people debate more than two genders. People debate what gender they are, that they can become fluid. All this demonic activity, and it is, it's the activity of the demon. I'm not saying that people are possessed. No, 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 no. We're not saying people are possessed. What we're saying is the devil has a very subtle way to convince people, and this has nothing to do with politics. Because uh, nowadays, if you disagree, they say, aha, you are obviously certain political party. Uh, no, it has nothing to do with it. It just has everything to do with stopping and thinking. And that's why if you notice, this deceptive practice is always most alive in college age, younger people. Why? Because they're the easiest to manipulate. If you tell a young soldier in the army, go take that heel, he'll go try to take it. He'll, he won't stop and say, well, hold it now. Why? Maybe that's not the right thing to do. Maybe your plan might not work. It may be more disastrous. But no, they'll easily do it. They'll go and do it, never question. I'm not saying that we need to question everything, but we need to stop and think about some of the things that we're being told and the way that we are being manipulated, the way that we do believe things. And to stop and ask ourselves, is this truly the truth? You know, and it's not from a political perspective. It's not just solely about the Roe versus Wade issue. No, man, no. You look at the, at the church. And I listen to people in the church, uh, older generations who say, and they've been saying it since 1970, if the Catholic Church embraces everything else that everybody other other, uh, all the other Christian religions are doing, then finally the Catholic Church will see the springtime of Vatican II, the blossoming. And we've been hearing that line for 70 years, give or take. What stage is it going to finally happen? When is 
the blossom going to take place? And we hear all these things. If we just allow more liberal morality, then finally everything is going to be okay. No matter how far you go, at what stage do you finally achieve the goal? You never do. And that's the deceptive practice. The goal, this perfect, equal, harmonious society, it's not attainable by the world's ideas, by aligning yourself with the morals of society, the world. It's never going to happen. No matter how far you go, it'll never be enough. But instead, instead, if you follow the commandments of God, do what God asks, then, only then, can you truly have a society that uh, imitates the beauty of the eternal society in heaven, the angels and the saints. It's only when we do what God asks can we achieve peace, necessary peace, within ourselves first and foremost, and then allow that to happen with our relationships with others. So today we commemorate the, I guess it's 60 plus million children that have been murdered since that decision, that awful decision. And, but we ask ourselves, are we any better off because of that? I'll let you think about that. May Almighty God be with you. May He bless you. The Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. Coming together as one family in faith, let us offer to God our prayers and our needs. We pray for our Holy Father, for Archbishop, for all priests, religious brothers, sisters, permanent deacons, and seminarians who pray to the Lord. Lord yeah. pray. We pray for those who are sick or suffering in any way this day and those who care for them. We pray for the Lord. Lord yeah. pray. We pray for the needs of our brothers and sisters who watch this Mass on video and the needs of you who are present in our chapel today. We pray to the Lord. Lord yeah. pray. We pray for the unborn, the protection of the unborn, and that is the attention of the Mass today. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Offering all our prayers to the Father, let us conclude with a prayer of praise and honor of the Blessed Trinity. Glory, Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, it is now, and it shall be, world without end. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, the fruit of the earth, and work of human hands will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God. God. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, and work of human hands will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice in yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Amen. Accept our humble offerings, O Lord of the living, and unite us to the perfect sacrifice of your Son, through whom you have made all creation new, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them the Lord. Let 
us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Father Most Holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, who were through me made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for your holy people. He stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so, with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory, as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope and Thomas our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life. We may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not in temptation, but deliver us from every evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. To await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. From the kingdom of the power and the glory of the universe, now and ever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I'll leave you, my peace I'll give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who we live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, we take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, we take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, the Lord, him who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. The Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into my room, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
with you, O oh Lord, is, is the path in the life, and in your life we see light. Let us pray. Increase your love within us, Lord God, by the saving mysteries we have celebrated, and bring your people everywhere to respect your gifts of human life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 The Lord be with you. Amen. 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 May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Mass is in good. Go in peace. Amen. 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 Prayer to St. Michael. Almighty Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and the spirits of the devil. May God be with the only humble and right, and in the new world, friends of the heavenly voice, by the power, the rest in the hell, Satan, and all the evil spirits, and the one that the world, seeking to ruin our souls. Amen. Divine praises. Blessed be God. Blessed be His holy name. Blessed be His holy name. True God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be His most sacred heart. Blessed be His most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus when Moses always sat on the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit every week. Blessed be your name, Mother of God, and Mary Most Holy. Blessed be your holy name, Son of Deception. Blessed be your glorious Son. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin Mother Mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph, the Most Jesus Christ. Blessed be God, the Saint Joseph, and the Saints.